Hello everybody, it's me, Jackson Powell, back with another hunting video on the Hunter Classic. Today I'm going to be hunting some more water buffalo, and hopefully get a really nice, really nice deer. God dang it, deer. Buffalo. And today, I'm getting a little ballsy. I know. I'm going after him with the bow. I'm keeping my 4570 on me just in case shit happens. But still... So let's see here. Get my best bow and arrow. Well, my most powerful bow and arrow. Let me. Where are we? Where is? Where are you, my sweet child? No, yeah, that's my forty. One of my forty-five cents. There we go. Oh god, darn it! I need to get rid of all this dead gum stinking ammo. Sorry, I'm not using my country accent today. I've lost it recently. Alright, well, let's do this, y'all. Let's go hunt some at some Indian water buffalo and see if we can't bag us a nice one. Put the scope on there. And my buddy Mike taught me something about this map a while back. This is in Australia. It's in, like, the, the, the rainforests of Australia this map is based in. Okay, for this hunt, I'm gonna need to bring my rangefinder since I'm bow hunting. I'm also gonna need to bring this stuff. Since I don't have much sand eliminator and I'm gonna and I'm planning on saving my sand eliminator. And we're not just gonna be hunting uh bunch of McCollums today. We're gonna also gonna be hunting some good old old Rusa deer. <laughs> We're going to be hunting everything on this map, basically, so, yeah. It's going to be a fun hunt today. Real fun hunt. So what time is it on here? It's 8 o'clock. Right, let's see what wind direction, let's see what direction the wind's going. Sweet, the wind's in my favor. Great day to... Great, just perfect w wind favor. It's going the exact opposite direction of where the... Um, it's going the opposite direction of the way I'm heading. So, should be good. Now, any animal over in that direction is going to smell me from a mile away. Because I've only got... It's really hot and sweaty out here. And I've only got, what, um, two cent eliminator left. And I'm planning on keeping them. Let's switch the music up. I might as well put on this one since the crap is about to hit the fan. And didn't wasn't there a map? No, it was Cape Buffalo that you were hunting on that map, but this map kinda reminds me of that map. So let's see which direction the wind's going. Yeah, it's still in my favor.
Now remember, I said I am bow hunting these things. However, if one of them decides to get kind of ballsy and charge, I will pull out my 4570 and drop it. And if I don't talk much, it's probably because I'm think trying to think of a name for the episode. Bingo, I got one. Oh god, when that music kicked me, kicked me in, I have to expect to see a caiman swimming down the river. And I'm like, oh my lord, what is this, Dangerous Hunt 2009? It just looks about like that, like the river crossing scene from uh, Dangerous Hunt 2009 on the Amazon from the Rainforest one. In the Ecuador, not Amazon. It kind of, I just kind of expect to look at the river and just see a freaking caiman swimming through it. It's like, whoa, I don't want to F with that thing, that thing will kill me. Yeah. Who knows, maybe we'll get a rare water buffalo today. You never know with these hunts. And if you ever notice me like I gotta call notice me on rooster deer. Here, I'll see if I can't get you guys a good look at a, what a rooster deer looks like on here. Oh, look at that, look at that. Wow, look at the rack on that thing. What are you, you're a Rusa, right? What is a Rusa? Okay, so boys, we got ourselves our first target for today. We need to find a river crossing spot. Up ahead here. Whoa, 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 can I see that? I just caught that up in front of my eye. Look at that right there. That right there is the sandbar here. No, that's another Rusa. What's the wind doing? The wind is in my favor, so I can't stop that buck. That that pin, that one single pin on my bow sight, that's 20 meters. So I need to get within 20 meters to bring able to be able to hit that deer. Now, I've got this Rooster Deer Grunt call and the camo, the, the clothes I'm wearing give me a little bit of camo flage. So I'm going to try to call that nice little Rooster Buck in. See if we can't get our first kill within eight minutes. Yeah, it should be fun. Dang it, if I would have knew there was going to be a nice looking Rooster Deer Buck over there, I would have brought my 270. Semi, 4570. So I could have dropped that buck with 270. Wait, no, still that would have been problematic because then spooked all the nice little uh, water bubble. And I'll tell you one thing. My buddy, we um, had a legendary water buffalo that we killed one time. We named him Corpus. He's like Corpus Bull. And this thing was massive, dude. He said, I said, you see that water buffalo across the water? He said, you mean that Corpus Bull looking thing? I said, yeah, that thing. No, well, he's Canadian, so he didn't have a strong country southern accent. Is that who's still sitting there? Right there, he's gonna try to call him in. Look at that! Guys, attention right away. What kind of guy's attention? Okay, let's go back to him and they're calling. Has he seen me? Yeah, he saw me. Look at him. He's looking right at me. Okay, no, he doesn't see me. He's not as big as a buck as that other one, but he's still a nice looking little rooster deer. He's still got a nice little rack on him. Oh, he just called.
and see if he can't get the color in close to you. I was like, what is he doing? I'll see if I can't get him within 20 meters of me. That's the lane doing right now. Oh no. That's not good. The wind's shifting direction. It was point going up that way, now it's heading straight that way. Which means it's gonna quickly change to face exactly where I need. Okay. Here he comes. Yeah, here he comes. He's a decent little rooster buck. What's the distance from me? He is 94 meters. 197. Okay. So I need to hear him another call. Okay, so. Turn, let out a call, and start moving towards me. Where'd he go? Right there he is. Dang it, he's going up into the woods. Where did he turn? Hey, where's the map crossing? No, he's going to cross. Yeah, he's most definitely moving to cross. If he calls, I'm gonna have to respond. I know you're sitting there. Look at that. Look at him. He's a beautiful little buck. He's not a monster, but he's a good looking deer. I just heard a thud outside. What was that? That was the male. No, the male people. Where'd he go? Okay, he's still sitting there. Oh, I'm gonna have to hit him when I call. back guys let me see where that roost bucks at oh he's crossing give me one second now Perfect shot and perfect music timing. All right, be right back, guys.
Sorry about that, guys. I had BRB for a second. I can't believe I made such a perfect shot with the bow. Do you see that? I mean, of course you saw it. I dropped. Two down. Two absolutely perfect shots on my part. Two beautiful, beautiful Rooster Deer Bucks are down. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, no, copyright, copyright, copyright. Smaller bus, he's only worth 20, but he's still. Let's see where this arrow hit. Oh, perfect shot. Look at that. Neck bone, spine three, shoulder blade, spine two, and then head. It went, the arrow went straight in here and went, came out, hit that spine out there, and bounced right down. dedicated to get a nice little water buffalo. First let's see what the um the wind is doing. You see how that buck stopped perfectly. Okay it's going in my face. It's it came. Wow. I still can't get over. I dropped this buck on a few arrows. I my actually like dead on. Haven't been shot so far. Once we hit the 20 minute mark Actually, you know what? This, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's it's a short video, yes, but I've got some, I've got class in a little while, so. so I will see you guys later. This has been another episode of Jackson's Hunting Adventure. See you guys.